Hello, I'm Congresswoman Suzanne Bonamici, and it's an honor to represent Northwest Oregon in the U.S. House of Representatives. Thank you to the National Skills Coalition for inviting me to speak at your annual Skills Summit. This year's summit comes at an especially opportune moment for workforce development and economic growth in our country. Last Congress, I was pleased to help pass the Bipartisan Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act and the Bipartisan Chips and Science Act. And I was glad to help create more pathways to good paying family wage jobs in the Inflation Reduction Act. I worked with my colleagues on the Education Committee to advance the Bipartisan National Apprenticeship Act reauthorization, and also uh, a needed comprehensive reauthorization of the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, or WIOA, that would provide training and career services to help workers find and keep good jobs. And both of these bills passed the House, and I will keep working on them with the goal of getting them across the finish line this Congress. Communities across the country are eager to leverage the historic federal investments in workforce development. Portland Community College, for example, in Northwest Oregon, is a leader in preparing students for careers in different in-demand industries, including aviation, construction, agriculture, semiconductors, and advanced manufacturing. And Century High School, Gaston High School, and other schools in the district I represent engage their students in high-quality CTE programs that prepare them for good-paying jobs in a range of industries. These programs and so many others around the country show the important role that industry and sector partnerships with K-12 schools and community colleges can play in building a diverse, skilled, and well-prepared workforce. As you take it to the Hill today to speak to your members of Congress, I encourage you to tell your stories and share your experiences. Talk about your successes and be candid about what you need from us. Express why it would be helpful to make more progress by passing the long overdue reauthorizations of the National Apprenticeship Act and the Workforce Innovation Opportunity Act. Your work is valuable because you are the key to providing students and workers with the skills they need to be successful and to contribute to our economy. Thank you for everything you do. I look forward to working with you as you prepare the workers of today for the jobs of tomorrow.